welcome to my channel my name is Finau and as you guys can tell by the title I will be doing pretty much a I don't know what the title is called yet but styling my bum for third trimester outfits I am 32 weeks in one day today and I felt like you know what let me just style some clothes all, all of my accessories are from Cecilia Styles. I'll put a link down below and everything that I'm wearing in this video at this very moment <laughs> is all still in stock. So I'll have the names on the screen. So if you guys are interested to buy it, I'll also put my code down below to save you some coins. Y'all welcome. I feel like it would be nice to have a theme. So I did a black theme. The main part is mostly black or just styling black clothes because we're going into fall well it is fall pretty much right it's august so yeah i hope you guys enjoy it if you guys want some classy looks kind of semi-casual looks or just some cute third trimester outfits go ahead and keep watching so i'm going to do a voiceover because it was easier to do but this simple black dress was from pretty little thing and then this fur vest was from forever 21 I love that it has like neutral colors. So everything in here is pretty much neutral colors. Here's the Kaylee studs from Cecilia Styles. I paired it with a hat from Cecilia Styles. This was about last fall when she had these in stock. That's no longer in stock, so that's why I didn't tag it in here. But I thought it was super cute. I couldn't see it, but then I ended up taking it off and pairing it with the Gia bag. So I used it as a clutch and it just looked really nice since there was white gray and brown on the fur vest so i paired it with these cute mule loafers because they're easy to slip on when you're pregnant so yeah i love it you can still see the stomach you still look cute and it looks fall this second look you honestly don't have to wear a different dress I just happened to have a different dress, so that's why I'm putting it on. I'm just putting it to use. This was from, I think, Boohoo. And then this oversized black button-up was also from Boohoo. I love that it's a silk texture. And since we're pregnant, you want to accentuate that bump. So what I'm going to add on here after rolling up the sleeves is a belt. I'm going to put it right underneath my boobs but over my stomach so it can accentuate that bump because you know you don't want to look fat you want to look pregnant i wore these with the esperanza hoops here just gold hoops with amazing detail and i kind of opened up the bottom even though i buttoned the middle right under my boob and belted it i still open up the bottom so you could see the stomach and then i paired it with these leopard flats you could use plain flats if you're not comfortable with print but i want it to be a little different so yeah so for this third look, if you watched my Instagram video that I did on Cecilia Styles Instagram TV, I pretty much wore this outfit, but I wore it with a dress. But anyways, I'm wearing this jumpsuit. It's a unitard. So that's another good thing to wear when you're pregnant because it's tight and it just hugs all the right places. And then I just use this button up leopard shirt. So they are both from Boohoo as well. And I tied it up so that it could accentuate the bump. And not have people question, is she fat or is she pregnant? So I usually don't use, I usually don't usually, I would usually not put so much print together. I love the Gia bag with this because the white just makes it a whole different vibe. But I ended up putting my leopard flats with it, which was shocking because I honestly would never do that. <laughs> I had so much print going on. So I just reminded me of like a 90s auntie. I mean, but it was cute. It was a vibe. I loved it made it a little bit different and now i'm just kind of feeling myself but yeah you could wear plain black flats or just neutral ones but i thought this was super cute okay this fourth outfit um, i really cannot fit this uh i used to fit it probably two weeks ago but i still wore it in this video anyways like I said, you want to accentuate accentuate that bump. I'm going to say that over and over again. But I tied it up on the top instead of in the middle where it usually goes. And then I just put on these platform sandals. And this is perfect because I wore a crop top with this. So I didn't have to tuck anything in and make myself look even more like fluffy. But I paired it with the Marisol bag. And I thought it was pretty cute. It looks like high waters on me. I would fold it and wear boots if I wanted to and wear a hat if you wanted to make it more fall but honestly I did not have energy to do that so I settled for this but it, it looked decent it looked fine I guess 
this fifth look, if you do have me on Instagram again, I wore this with a white shirt in that video, but this time you can see how different a black turtleneck looks with this. But this dress is so freaking cute. Honestly, none of these are maternity. I forgot to mention that. I just sized up in everything. This one, I just sized up one size over. And instead of wearing the flat mule loafers that I did with my when I wore the white shirt, I decided to put those platform sandals back on. But this just goes to show that you can use multiple things like the same exact outfit, but change it up just a little bit with either the shirt that's inside, put a shirt over it, the jacket outside, tying up the dress. I thought it was really cute and I really loved it with the black shirt. Okay, so I didn't have a mirror when I was looking in here, so I would always leave the room, but honestly, this was a hella cute look. This is the more semi-casual look that I was talking about. So I'm just wearing a unitard here, or unitard slash jumpsuit, which was from Pretty Little Thing, and then this crop sweater, I think it was from Pretty Little Thing as well. And I ended up putting my hair up so it could look more sporty, and then I'm here putting on my socks because instead of wearing like flats or platform sandals i decided to make it a little to keep it more casual because it does look casual like i look like i'm gonna go work out but like it still look cute so i ended up putting it with my nike cortez here i honestly wish that i could find the black and white ones but we don't have it here in alaska so i haven't bought it online but it looks fine with these like these are my neutral cortez that i like to wear Whenever I am too lazy to wear any flats or any heels, I just look. And those Paris studs, they look so bomb. They're so big. Like, I could see them from here. So, yeah, I thought this was a semi-casual look that was super cute. And it's also very, very comfortable. So, that's what I really like. Because you want to be comfortable when you're pregnant, right? For this seventh look, this is the only look that is actually from the maternity section clothes. I never really bought maternity clothes. I just sized up in things. So when you buy maternity clothes, just make sure that you get your regular size because if you get a bigger size, it's just going to be too big. Maternity clothes is already made to um, help where your stomach is going to stretch. So you don't need to go up a size. So anyways, this actually came in a set together from boohoo very cheap very cute especially since you're only going to need it for nine months if not less than that and i paired it with the same sneakers that i wore last time my nike cortez because i wanted to dress it down but you can also dress it up if you wanted to and i used the marisol bag as a crossbody bag and i thought it was just a whole vibe <laughs> um I love maternity clothes because they accentuate the bump. A lot of people like to look smaller. I want to emphasize that bump for the little time that I have. Plus, I barely started showing. <laughs> so it just keeps that question, keeps people from questioning, like, is she fat or is she pregnant? So that's one thing I do like about maternity clothes is just that you're not going to really want to wear it after. But it's a cute vibe. Like, it was only probably 16 bucks, so it was worth it, I guess. So this is the last outfit, another bodycon dress from Boohoo. Surprise, surprise. Honestly, you don't have to have this many bodycon dresses. I just have them, but you can honestly use the same ones over and over, just switching the tops, whether it's the crop sweater, crop top, denim jacket, green jacket, um, or green vest, fur vest, any of that. Like You can literally put a million outfits together with all these clothes that I'm wearing. But anyways, <laughs> since I have it, because I love shopping, I'm going to show you everything that I can. And I just paired it with these mule loafers because they're easy to slip on. And I really do enjoy this. There's just so much you could do. I, As you could tell, I like wearing bodycon dresses, unitards, and jumpsuits when I'm pregnant because I really want to emphasize my bump. I want people to be like, oh, damn, she's pregnant because, like, hello. <laughs> It's about time. So yeah, that is the last outfit. And that was the last outfit. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys got some inspo. Comment which one was your favorite outfit. Um, I just wanted to do this before getting bigger. This was really hard for me. I'm so tired. But yeah, like I said, I hope you guys enjoy it. I love you guys and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.